Hey, I'm sitting here with my boy Sean. Turn on your fucking AC. Since we got we got doors open. And windows down. Fuck, windows down. Well, this one's cracked. This one's all the way down. But and that windows, that door is all the way open. This door is all the way open. He's got the AC full blast. It felt good. No, no, no. And it's loud. Mm -hmm. But uh, this is my uh little sissy friend Sean. What's up? Little Lala, cause she wanted to start a fucking YouTube channel. But uh, bleep out the cussing. But uh. I'll try to remember that, but but I'm trying to tell my buddy Sean here that uh, he needs to start a YouTube channel. And uh, hey, where were you at three? No. Uh, yeah, I'm sitting here telling him about uh, my plans for my community. He got he got a little working project, uh, mud toy, trailblazing. Thing. Tell me you need to get a big one. Big Chevy. I don't know why you got a trailblazer. It because ain't gonna be cheap. trail riding at all. But start the channel. Now. Maybe. Now we're gonna start it. <laughs> I'm building that community of uh people to help get them a uh, uh, a source of income that they can live on and be able to put that into their house and build their house and build their future and all the other YouTubers I'm already watching now and then I'm gonna get my friends that I know are going to be capable of uh, being motivational being by my standards of um, what to do what we're going to do and what we're going to build so I'm over here telling Sean we're gonna get this cracking we're gonna get this started. I'm about to go over there and get my rims real quick. So I'll turn the camera back on when I get over there, but I'm telling you now, Sean, it's gonna happen. Hey. If I gotta come over here hey. and video for you, then you're gonna do it. Alright, oh this got me down so bad the last couple days. I'm trying to get this uh trying to get this one running. I was dumping a little bit every now and then fuel into the air intake right here into the throttle body and it was starting up but then it was dying. I just came out here and it's Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to everybody. And I came out here feeling depressed about situations and uh, came out here tried to fire it up a couple times and he fired it up the first time and died after a few seconds but now I remember that I had that air intake box off so we're going to be getting too much air to the to the I just that fell off <laughs> and when it was dying I should need to tighten it up put it back on the right but, so happy it started now. So happy. More to come in a minute. Oh yeah. Oh, fuck. Nate. Uh, got my little cooler. Got my cooler with water in it. Got my hose to rinse it off. Got my entertainment. Just watch Safe Alonzo and uh, He Vapors. Awesome, y'all. Love y'all. Love watching y'all's video. I got my tarp that I was talking about. My old pull tarp. I'm gonna be doing something with that here soon. But, I'll show you the clean one first. These are the, my 26s that I had on my, that my Yukon Denali.
the green truck came with when I bought the green truck. Yeah, when I wrecked. Go check out that video. How my life got turned upside down at 6 o'clock in the morning. No. So it's 6 o'clock in the morning. My life got something like that. About a year ago. Over a year ago. But uh. It was super dirty. From uh, my buddy Sean having him. In his uh, shed. But I just got done cleaning this one. Give me. Not really a deep clean but. I scrubbed down. I mean, they're really bad. But I'm just trying to play with that a little bit. It's only 12 o'clock, I think. 12 o'clock at night. But yeah, my getting these cleaned up. China. This is the next one I did. Iris sprayed it down earlier with the my mixture I got some totally awesome the yellowish orange stuff and uh, some coca cola that is some powerful cleaning stuff all that all that corrosion all that um corrosion back there it will take it all off I mean, there's a little bit left on there. Like I said, I didn't do a deep clean. I'm just pretty much wiping them down. But, uh, then we'll get these cleaned up. Hopefully enough to find somebody to trade. I mean, they need to be repainted. I had plans to take the chrome off and powder coat them. And these are jug. or the letters upside down, but it's jug. Wheels, I think it's called. I looked them up and they were pretty decent. Um, when I first got the Avalanche, I mean the Yukon, I had looked these wheels up and I couldn't find this particular set, but average, uh, 26s in this company was pretty decent looking, pretty expensive for wheels, for knockoff wheels. But I like the way they look. Oh, excuse me. Well, must be a fog, I guess. No, it was a uh, air bubble. Uh -huh. But uh, yeah, there's where that hole is there to the center console. I mean, the center console. Uh, to the center um hub. There is a green piece, a piece of plastic that actually melted pretty much every single one. But I had plans to, I still have all the color um, pieces in the center caps. I have them in my storage. But I had plans on um, getting those redone in metal. I was really hoping for like a piece of diamond plate. And when I was, had the green Yukon, the, uh, that was my got green build and I was going to do a piece of diamond plate metal and bend it to the shape of this right here and then powder coat it in green then have the diamond plate effect on the middle right there in the center then repaint all the chrome on here all black and then I would have the green and black but, yep, so a little chat. I'll see you on a minute. I'm gonna get these a little bit cleaner. Probably come back out here in the daytime and actually do it more. But, 
a little bored right now and wanted to record something, so trying to get my grind on. <laughs> but see y'all in a minute. All right, <clears throat> minute later. I got this one a little bit better. Uh, one is a little bit more dirty. <laughs> But yeah, this one's drying. Yeah, there's still some um, spots on. I'm using a little yellow scrub brush because they didn't have the normal brush. I mean, normal um, pad thing. I used to use a, um, a wool, um, like a SOS pad. Like they have steel ones and copper ones and by use use a uh, wool um scuff pad to uh, be more abrasive to the corrosion like you can see a little bit up there and then like this one really has some up there Let's see if I can get the glare off of it like right there those white dots so Got some water in the ground. <laughs> oh, about to fall. But yeah, and these are these have tons of dirt on them. So I'm definitely going to be doing some major cleaning. Hopefully, I can go to Walmart tomorrow because Dollar General only had the steel, the copper, and the, these like this. Um, Dishwashing scrub pads at Dollar General. So, but they got them. Most of the dirt knocked off, so kind of happy, but really wish I can just take that chrome off. Wish I had the money to uh, sand that chrome down, and or even better yet, put it in a sandblast box. And then, uh, be able to, uh, get the chrome off and redo the in all black then do those center pieces in the green and I'll be able to sell them or trade them for a good little value but yeah I'm gonna I'm put it up for now put them back up on that stack and put my tarp back up on top of the stack. That way I can cover them up. Like I had them. And yeah, this same day that I had gotten the Tahoe, my motivational moment. I got my Tahoe started up after not running for a couple days. Not wanting to crank because I wanted to move it back over here. And I told Shandy. I was going to mow, hit that spot over here again with the lawnmower, get some of these high grass that grows faster like like that little weed right there, it was growing faster than the rest of the grass but I want to knock it down one more time before I bring that car back over here so it has fresh cut. Since it took me a couple more days than I expected when I cut the grass, I was going to do it all that day. But yeah, I got I got her started and uh, running good. I even drove it around the block for a good little minute. No tag, of course, but I didn't see no cops, so it wasn't legal to me. But um, on call. And, uh, transmission shop and get their idea on these transmission sensors are bad I think they're easy and simple to change and worth changing to repair the transmission but I'm gonna call the professionals and see what they say about these particular uh, shifts uh, timing sensors for the shifting their clutch uh, sensors the timing and then, um, if not, then I'm going to look at trying to source a, 
uh, four-wheel drive transmission if they say it's not worth replacing the sensor I'll replace the transmission and uh, try to go from there before I try to get rid of it I need uh, I got the Avalanche and the Durango I'm looking at getting the Durango gone that way I can put more into my instead of having three builds I'll have two builds for now I mean I really want the Durango because I was building that for my trail riding family vehicle uh, like a weekend toy take the kids out my kids love going trail riding and being out in the woods and doing what I do with the truck out there that one's been out high bluff trail riding quite a few times in my my other truck my old the one I traded my Dodge Ram that I traded for that Durango they used to love it but this was the I got this truck the same day I bought that one I bought I traded no I went and bought this one cash 3800 and dude lied to me about it quite a bit I've been I've dealt with quite a bit with this truck I've changed the rear end I've changed the transfer case um took the rear end the gears out when I thought it was just the the the, the rear chunk and wound up being the um the yoke um the yoke bearing for the drive shaft but I wound up putting in another rear end in it another transfer case and it's just been in the steering column. But, well, actually, another dude did the steering column, but that was a problem in itself afterwards. So, I'll be um, hoping to keep this for a minute until I can find a Suburban so I can have the, the third row seat family vehicle that I need. But, Man, I do love this truck. I do love that color, the indigo blue. I mean, there's some spots like right there. I need to fix on the paint and like right there. And most of it was from the previous owner, but I'm like right up there at the top where like somebody tried to get to the door. But a new paint job, which I'll be happy to do the paint job. Uh, that was my main goal as part of my YouTube channel to do everything that I'm planning on doing for a business. I'm uh, building my life to do everything I've been talking about. Open my mechanic shop, open my, my community service to do things for the community. And part of it's doing mechanics. I know how to work on vehicles. I've been doing it all my life. And some hasn't been great. Some has been. I'm gonna get my hose and rinse that off. Apparently, my pit bull beers kick some dirt up on it. But yeah, more to explain. And I was thinking about doing a a clip for the video I'm about to post now because. I forgot some things, but I don't know if I'm going to, so I'll see if I'm going to do that tomorrow. If not, I'm just going to throw the video up as it is, and then continue just talking about my life and everything that I'm doing, so I'll see y'all in a minute. Yeah, I'm walking around the dog poop, so I accidentally already stepped on it, I had to hose my boots off, because, but... Oh, such a great life. Yay. I wish I can just... Oh, it's already a spider web on it. There was a bunch of spider webs back there. And I had to get my can of uh, spray to blast them. So, well, I'll see you all in a minute. Thank you all for watching and commenting and being part of my motivation. 
y'all are such great motivators and I know everybody has their their key um, words and their uh, comments to I mean not comments but um, callings to their people and I think the best thing to call my group is uh, the motivators and love the love the idea to be doing what I planned with my army and watching everybody's channels and motivating everybody's channels. Yeah, those tires so much. Can't wait to get new tires. I'm praying that I can get this uh these rims cleaned enough to start a deal with somebody for some other wheels, so we'll see what life has. See you on a minute.